The start of the rainy season in South Sudan has left displaced civilians without shelter after rainwater flooded the protection of the civilian site in Bor, destroying makeshift housing structures in the camp. Those affected already live in difficult conditions after fleeing violence in the country. South Sudan plunged into civil war in December 2013, barely two years after independence from Sudan. After being uprooted from their homes by conflict, displaced civilians sheltering at a UN camp in Bo, South Sudan, are unable to access their tents after heavy rain left the camp flooded. The onset of the rainy season in the region has affected over 2,000 people living in a UN protection of civilian site. Paths around the camp are almost impassable, and many makeshift canvas shelters have been submerged in water. The one that we, we had been displaced by the flood, they have gone to, to the community shelters. So, but most of them, they are vulnerable. Most of them, the women who have just given birth, like uh, two weeks, one day, and five days. So this is the most problem that uh, which is affecting us. Korean peacekeeping engineers are pumping out water from housing areas within the site. They are also assisting people in the town whose homes and shops have been damaged by heavy rainfall. This is a natural disaster. Um, we're very concerned about the health and safety of the population. We're very concerned about the possibilities of waterborne diseases and, and those types of diseases spreading. So where we can support the people, we will support them. The heavy rain comes after South Sudan was hit by an East African drought last year, which left nearly half of the country's 11 million people without reliable access to affordable food. The flooding has sparked fears over spread of waterborne diseases and has affected the ability of families to support themselves. When it floods, it becomes more uh, devastating, especially the economic, the social and the environmental uh, consequences that comes with it. Uh, our land as a, an agricultural uh, uh, state, we rely on agriculture. And if it floods before the farmers cultivate, then it means that uh, there's no food for us. With the rainy season only just starting, more flooding is expected in parts of the country. The government and the United Nations says South Sudan already needs $1.7 billion in aid this year to help 6 million people cope with the effects of war, hunger, and economic decline.